Welcome to Country Cooking. I'm your hostess, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making meatloaf, uh, raw apple cake, three cheese pasta, and shredded carrots. So we're going to start out with the cake so that it can bake while we start working on the meal. Um, what I always do, the, the nice thing about raw apple cake is it doesn't use a frosting, it just uses a crumbled topping. So I always make my crumbled toppings first and that is uh, a half cup of chopped nuts, a fourth cup of packed brown sugar, fourth cup of white sugar, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we'll whisk that together. And then we'll set this aside. That way when we're done mixing the cake, we can just toss it on. First we're going to cream together the sugar, the oil, which is a half cup, and our eggs, Okay, so I'm going to start creaming those. We'll add our teaspoon of vanilla. Our two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking pop, baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. You can add a half cup of nuts to the cake if you like. My family prefers it without the nuts. So that's something that you can just decide yourself. But because it has nuts in the crumbled topping, a lot of people feel like that's enough. So, okay, we're ready to add our four cups of apples. I cut down on the sugar a little bit because I'm using gala apples. Um, but if you're using um, apples from your tree or the neighbor's tree, then you would use the, the full two cups of sugar. Instead of battling this, I think I'm just going to mix it up with a spoon. Since all of our ingredients are well mixed anyway. You're going to look at this batter and you're going to think, it looks like a lot of apples, but they bake down and it makes a really nice moist cake. And the kitchen always smells so good. I preheated my oven to 350. Throw it in our pan. I've just sprayed it with Pam. Now remember, all these recipes can be found on the Valley website. Just smooth it out a little bit in the pan. look like this and then we take our topping ingredients and just crumble them over the top so 
So it looks like this. We're going to pop it in the oven. Pick your promo, sign up for high speed internet, and get an iPad mini for only $60, plus get $60 in Valley Bucks. Or sign up for HD DVR from Valley Video and get $60 in Valley Bucks. Take advantage of these great promotions in honor of Valley being around for the last 60 years. Call 437 2615 today. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. Okay, we've got the cake going. We're going to start on the meatloaf, which takes an hour in the oven. So I've got one pound of ground beef. I've got one cup of, of fine breadcrumbs. And I just use, if I have you know, dinner rolls or whatever left over, that's what I, I freeze them. And when I need them, then I've got them. A half teaspoon of, of ground mustard. Half teaspoon of celery salt. One egg. Nice thing is you don't have to put these in in any order. You just toss them together. And then a half teaspoon of salt. We're going to throw in our pepper. Two tablespoons of grated onion and a half cup of milk. Put in our pan. this and now the best part of this meatloaf is the topping and I use two tablespoons of packed light brown sugar we're going to use a tablespoon of prepared mustard and a third cup of ketchup I'm getting towards the end of my bottle. It looks like I'm going to have to go grocery shopping. And you bake it uncovered for one hour. So it looks like this. We're ready to pop in the oven. Cellular service doesn't have to be scary. 4G LTE is now available with new plans and new phones. Stop by or call Valley today at 437-2615 to see what we have to offer. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. All right, now we're going to start on our three cheese pasta, and we're going to start out with the sauce. Of course, we've got our butter in the pan here. We're going to get that melted.
three tablespoons of butter. Okay, as soon as that's melted, then we're going to add our three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, our three-fourths teaspoon of salt, of milk. Okay. Now while that's heating up, we're going to stir it quite frequently so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. I have 12 ounces of cooked al dente uh, noodles. You can use any kind that you like. My family prefers the penny pasta like this. And I've tossed it with uh, a tablespoon of butter so that they don't stick together. We have one cup of cubed Swiss cheese. One cup of cubed mozzarella and one cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use like this, or you can use the fresh and grate it yourself, whichever is convenient. Sometimes around here it's not always easy to find the mozzarella cheese in the brick. So toss it together. back to my all of today's recipes can be found on the Valley website so if you don't have the internet call the office and they'll gladly print you a copy of the recipe I'm gonna go back to my sauce see how it's doing here Valley Telecommunications is pleased to announce that our Technology Solutions Center is fully stocked and open for business. We have a large selection to meet your wants and needs. Some of the items we currently carry are a variety of corded and cordless phones, different brands of tablets such as Kindle Fires and Apple iPads and all the accessories for them, Telecan computers, Epson and HP printers and ink cartridges, Apple iPods and accessories, office supplies, wireless keyboards and mice, cellular phones and accessories, different types of media storage, cameras, headphones, power strips and surge protectors, and much, much more. You can also get your very own Valley Swag. Our prices are reasonable and comparable to any other retail store. If there is something that you want or need that we do not currently carry, please let us know so that we can check into it for you. We accept all major credit cards, cash or check. Please feel free to stop by our office and check out our new and improved store for all of your technology and day-to-day -day business needs. Okay, our sauce is ready. So we can start throwing together the pasta. I buttered a 9 by 13 glass pan and I sprinkled uh, a half cup of breadcrumbs in there. And to the pasta that we've tossed all the cheeses in, we're going to put half of them in the pan. And then half of our sauce. kind of creams it all together. And then we're going to repeat our layers. Of 
This is a simple dish and you can use it for a, a fancy dinner or you can use it for a casual dinner because of all the cheeses. It, it goes real well with almost everything. And it doesn't get so runny on your plate that it interferes with steak or anything like that. So it's okay, we're gonna pour on the rest of the sauce. A spatula. I'm one of those old German gals that thinks you should use all the stuff in the pan, so we're gonna clean it out. Okay, so it looks like this, and then we're gonna top it with our with our other half of the breadcrumbs. So it looks like this. We're going to pop it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. We're working with our shredded carrots. The reason I like this for a side dish is because it gives you color to your plate. You can have the most wonderful meal in the world, but if you've got a plain chicken breast and like plain mashed potatoes, like garlic mashed potatoes with no color, and then you've got corn. You know, you look at that plate and there's no color to it. So carrots always give you a really nice color, especially if you're serving a green salad or anything. So, and I usually figure about a cup of shredded carrots per person. And so I've done six cups here and we're going to uh, melt a stick of butter and a half cup of brown sugar and then salt and pepper to taste. Uh, it doesn't take a lot, but um, I'm going to sprinkle the salt and pepper over here while I'm kind of dissolving the sugar in the butter. And depending on uh, how dry your carrots are, you can add a little water. I sometimes add about a half cup. It just kind of just cooks them down a little better. Remember that all these recipes can be found on the Valley website. And if you don't have internet, give them a call and they'll give you the recipe. Another nice thing about these is if you put them in a glass pan, you can also cook them in the in the microwave if you are short oven space so um, generally they take I, I usually give them an hour in the oven at 350 so it works real well to pop them in when you pop in your meatloaf and then they'll all be ready at the same time you put your pasta in that only takes a half an hour so you can work on that while the other ones are baking and and uh, then everything will be ready at the same time and mix it all around. And then I cover this because it doesn't need to be browned. I cover it with aluminum foil. ready to pop in the oven. Hi, we're ready to pull out the meatloaf. That's the last thing out of the oven. So we've got our, our three cheese pasta, our, our shredded carrots, and our meatloaf. We're going to dish up. It 
ready for the hungry workers. Nice, creamy, cheesy, three cheese pasta and a raw apple cake. Give it a dollop of whipped cream. And there we go. There's your supper. Thank you for joining us today on this edition of Country Cooking, and we'll see you next time.